Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode here at T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining me once again. We're going to be grilling out back tonight. I got a skirt steak we're going to fire up on the grill. And I've also got uh, uh, some gorgonzola cheese. We're going to make a nice gorgonzola cheesy creamy sauce to go over some fettuccine noodles with the skirt steak. Should be a fantastic meal. And the skirt steak was provided by Little Bills of New York. This is USDA Prime, folks. Again, it doesn't get any better. I promise you. Right, we're going to put this uh, skirt steak in some marinade. And this is a new product from Little Bells of New York. This is their New York marinade, folks. Brand new product. Y'all go check it out. Lobels.com. I'll put a link in the description box below. I had this on some uh, flank steak earlier in the week. And I'm here to tell you this stuff really rocks. Mmm. You won't find this on your store shelves, folks. Only at Lobels.com. And uh, you may ask what's in it. I'll tell you what's in it. It's got some pineapple juice, first ingredient, so you know it's gonna be a fantastic marinade, okay? Uh, it's also got some molasses for a little sweet, okay? It's got a little salt in there to balance everything out with the flavoring. It's got some ketchup in there. Uh, it's got Worcestershire sauce in there. Uh, let's see what else. We've got some um, chili pepper extract. It's got some spices, of course, and it's got some dried garlic. It's got black pepper and red pepper. Again, very simple marinade. All right, all natural, no preservatives, none of the stuff that's bad for you, no artificial colors or anything like that. This is excellent marinade. Y'all go check it out, lowbells.com. I'm gonna marinate this skirt steak for a couple hours in the fridge, and when we're ready to grill it up, I'll meet you right back. Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, the skirt steak has been marinated for a couple hours. I got a little salt and freshly ground black pepper in here. We're just gonna hit, I've already hit the first side, and now we're hitting the second side with a little salt and pepper. Okay, and then we're gonna put this on the grill. And I've also got a Anaheim pepper back there. And we're gonna roast that up as well. So put these on my grill. Got my grill fired up, screaming hot. Oh, and this was one long piece of skirt steak. I cut it in two, make it a little bit easier for me. Just gonna put it right over here. Back like that. And we got our second piece going on too. There we go. Yeah, this one's ready. Yeah, this one's ready to flip. So when your meat comes loose easily off of the grate with beef, that means it's ready to flip. This one shouldn't be too much longer here. Piece stuck right there. Let's give it just a second longer. There we go. There we go, and that's uh, probably been two minutes or so. We're gonna let her go another couple of minutes and I am cooking it with the lid open like this. So a couple more minutes and we'll pull it off and uh, tint it with some uh, tin foil. Finish cooking the pepper and then we'll go inside and make the uh, gorgonzola cream sauce and noodles. All right everybody, the meat is resting. I pulled off that uh, Anaheim pepper. Now we're getting ready to make this gorgonzola cream sauce. Uh, it's real simple. Gorgonzola cheese. All right, get the crumbled if you can't, can't find the block, that's fine. Uh, got four tablespoons of salted butter. I've got one shallot, minced. I'm gonna use some baby Bella mushrooms right here in the back. Got some heavy whipping cream and some fresh, crown, fresh ground black pepper. All right, and um, all I'm gonna do is just cube this up pretty good. Probably use about half of this block here. That may be enough. Okay, all right, now let's move you over to the stove. And let's get to cooking. The butter's going in. Melt this down real quick. And we're gonna throw in the shallot. And we're just gonna sweat these down for a couple of minutes. We'll be right back. All right, again, we're gonna throw in some of these mushrooms now. Got some honking mushrooms in there, Karen. Ooh, I like honking mushrooms. Yeah. We should have cut they them down. Right yeah, you know it. Some of them look like teenagers. <laughs> All right, folks, I think my mushrooms and my shallots are about ready. Time to go ahead and add in heavy cream. I'm just going to add all of this in there. Karen likes a creamy sauce. Mm -hmm. Again, just stir this in. We're going to cook this down a little bit, let it thicken up, reduce it a little bit, and uh, we'll be right back. 
My sauce is reduced down by about a third or so. And this is that uh, pepper, the Anaheim pepper that I roasted on the grill, grilled it up. Just chopped it up real fine. I'm gonna throw that in there, give it a little bit of extra heat. Okay, and also at this time, I'm going to turn the heat down to really, really low. Got the heat turned turn down to like a number two. And we're gonna start putting in this gorgonzola cheese. And that's gonna help thicken this up pretty good. Here we go. And just stir this until everything gets incorporated. We'll, we'll meet you back here when the sauce is done. Oh, I forgot, black pepper. Gotta put some black pepper in there too. You don't wanna put salt in here because that gorgonzola cheese has plenty of salt in it. So just some fresh cracked black pepper going in. Now, again, just continually stir this on low heat until the cheese melts and your sauce will be ready. It's time to cut us up some of this skirt steak. Check that out, doesn't look fine. Uh, all right, so the grain's running this way, so I need to cut across the grain. And what I'm gonna do is just cut these into thirds. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. So that looks pretty nice. Okay. And again, we're just going to go at an angle. Just slice these up. I'm gonna go for a little thicker slices just because we're using this on a pasta dish. Just like that. We're all plated up. I put a little fresh parsley on there. Now we're going on with a little bit of fresh Parmigiano Reggiano right here at the end. There you go. It looks delicious. It is. Let's taste it. All right, everybody, let's taste this. That's what it looks like. Sure smells fine with that gorgonzola sauce on there. Mmm. That's good, Karen. It's rich. It is good. <laughs> it is really rich. This is really good, folks. Hope y'all give this dish a try. It is really rich with that heavy cream in there, though. But, man, this is really good. No, but it's good. It's just real rich. <laughs> Folks, I appreciate you joining me once again here at T-Roy Cooks, and I hope you share the video. When you do, please tell all of your friends, T-Roy Cooks, responsibly. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Wrap it up, babe. I'm ready. Ooh. Later.